With the start of spring and warmer weather in the United States, the risk here for fire season heats up too. Out west, a recent beetle epidemic has increased the threat of wildfires. Tiny bugs have killed countless trees, adding fuel for forest fires. But as CCTV's Hendrik Sabrandi reports, the U.S. Forest Service is now removing some of those trees and thinning the undergrowth in hopes of reducing the fire threat. Against a winter backdrop, logging machines are running in overdrive in the Colorado mountains. It's a fuel reduction project that we have going on here. On a six-acre plot of land near the town of Rollinsville, crews remove hundreds of trees, both living and dead. Some of them have been infested by the mountain pine beetle. The U.S. Forest Service is actively working to make this area a little less flammable, more resistant to high-intensity wildfires. We're hoping that if and when a fire passes through, that it would alter fire behavior enough so that um, firefighters could safely enter and make stands in specific areas. This tree has been dead three, four, five years now. The needles which turned red are all gone. Some of the bark and the branches are too. In a state that's seen more than its share of large wildfires in recent years, Experts say one naturally occurring phenomenon has helped trees burn hotter and fire spread faster. Bark beetles that have infested over a quarter of Colorado's national forest. They're places where more and more people now happen to live. In those areas where we've really concentrated a lot of our work has been in those areas where you really have the forest coming into high contact with where people live. Drought conditions and a warmer climate have allowed pine and spruce beetles to do damage longer, unlike the bitter cold spells of the past. You get seven to ten days and those bugs die. We haven't had that in those stretches for quite a while. It creates a, a recipe for bugs to come in and really impact those trees. And potentially impact residents like Jan Peterson, who experienced a rough start to the last fire season. The beginning of the summer we had fires everywhere and it's very scary, yeah. She wonders how effective those fuel reduction projects really are. People are tossing cigarettes out the window. Um, if it's dry enough, it's going to catch. It doesn't matter. It's been a long time since there was a fire, and it's just a matter of time. doesn't matter if, how many trees they cut down. But the U.S. Forest Service says it's key to regenerating a healthy forest and will be part of its strategy for years to come. There's a lot of forest out there. We've got a big job ahead of us, and uh, that's why we're, uh, we're taking it as a priority. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Gilpin County, Colorado.